Hello and привет! This is Sergey. Welcome back to Let Us Be Playing Chrono Trigger. Last time we left off, we had just met with the eminent presence of one Dr. Zhivago, who is happens to be a frog in this game. So you can see on screen that he has the very best stats of any person or frog creature ever. He has sword and a helmet and mail from post office box and he comes factory equipped with Nintendo accessories so this makes him superior now to celebrate his arrival into party I believe everyone shall have celebratory vodka to drink yes this will keep them all healthy and ready to do a fight so we approach deeper into fortress and first encounter is with the dreaded Russian Jew. Now, people will probably think that I am like anti-Semite because I am hating a Jew, but that is not the case. I am, I am good friends with many Semites and we hang out and go bowling. But the Russian Jew is is different from regular Jew. They are like subspecies because, as you can see from horns and wings. They are, they are actually monster demons and they live in the Russian countryside and attack our villages and steal our breads and stuff and this is unacceptable so we, we tried a lot of things to get rid of them we tried, you know, burning all of the crops and then that, that didn't work we tried pogroms and that worked for a while, but they keep coming back from dead, and then they attacked us with the most powerful weapon that they have ever used, which is called a laser wolf, which, as name would suggest, is is a big wolf that shoots lasers out of its mouth, and to we had, no one could defeat it. We it destroyed many troops, so we had to send Doctor Zhivago to kill it because. He is the most expert and we are all very grateful to him. So here we are in a treasure room. We have gotten maiden suit. This is a kind of suit for only girls to wear. And it can protect you from swords and, and robots and stuff. So it, it is important to wear it. So I will give it to Sasha. Next we have a vodka that is always good. We have ether. Ether is, is a kind of device that will make you like to do a hallucinate and stuff. It is a drug, but it also restores your MP, so you know, it is kind of necessary. Okay, here is a secret that not many people might be knowing about. It is a secret place where you can get a bromide. And a bromide is something you might not know about if you are not from Russia. But it is a kind of balloon that is filled with uh, peanut butter. So you know you can you can throw it and it will distract squirrels. Which in Russia squirrels can grow up to be seven feet long and and can skeletonize cow in under thirty seconds. So. You know, it is important to be able to distract them. It is very valuable. People tend to hide them for emergencies, but as you can see, they are very jealously guarded by yellow turtle men. And, and they do not, they think we are, oh, they're after peanut butter balloon. Oh, get them, he says, but perhaps it is us who will get you. As you shall see, with demonstration of new move, which is called Trotsky Tornado of Fire. It is improved version that uses the red flames of communism to make a more powerful cut. And they do not know what hits them. They are like, ah, oh, what hit us? Perhaps it was a truck or a bus, but you know, they don't, they are too dead to realize that it was a fire sword from Trotsky. So that room is complete. It holds no more secrets for us. Next we will move on to get treasure with steel saber which is a sword for Yuri to use makes him more powerful and here we see that 
preventing us from going into Dory's row of spikes. Now this, this you may recognize as most difficult puzzle in game because you look and you're like, what could possibly be a way for me to get across these spikes? Perhaps this glowing eye skull man will know. We will talk to him and ask for a solution. And oh wow, the spikes are gone. That's, that was a real brain buster. My brain has been busted. Okay. Inside room we talk to some soldiers for hints about the fortress. And uh, this man is very observant. He can tell we are humans. Thank you. And we get a power tab, which is important accessory for Russian fashion. Because not only will it make you look super spiffy, but it also gives you more power. So we will use it on Sasha because her power is not very great. Moving on, we will we will evade the monsters using our secret evasion skills. And we are great at this and well crap. We have we have hit them anyway. Oh well these these are snakes, but they are not any snakes, they are Russian purple snakes. And they will try to bite you, which is like what a regular snake does, but you have to watch out because they will try to convince you to get beaten. You'll be like, I am so hungry, I have not had bites in many days, please allow me to bite upon you. And you have to say, no snake, I will not let you bite upon me, because they, they are full of malice and motor oil so okay we go to next room they think we are in disguise because of their puny monster brains here we have Atevia who hates to be pretend to pretend who did there's the turtle he says Rasputin is smart well I'm glad that you like him next there is snake nun she says that she ate a person that is gross you are gross why don't you go say like a hell rosary or whatever it is you do we will follow this Jew man because he goes to interesting. Oh, holy crap, it is Zar. How did Zar get here? Res well, they Rasputin will not be pleased. We are, we are not friends with Rasputin. We are here to put sharp things in his face and eyes. I don't understand your words, Mr. Zar, but whatever. I. Why these people were just in castle? I don't understand why they are here. Sergeant Purple Boots seems very happy, but I don't understand his surprise. All right, next. Whoa! A song visits us at the top of screen. It is kind of soothing, but also about Napoleon, so I do not like it. Whoa! Napoleon is a lot taller and cooler than I remembered him. This is distressing to me. Well, now that I have stolen all of these items, I guess I shall leave the room. Uh oh, it was a trick. Well, to counteract evil song about Napoleon, I will sing my own awesome song about Stalin. Already, here we go. Stalin! Oh, Stalin! We love you so much! You are like the greatest potato, for you will always help us by causing us to build tanks and other things. And your glorious mustache of righteousness gives us hope for a better tomorrow. Here is chorus. Stalin, oh Stalin, 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 we love you. Please do not be sending me to Gulag. I love you almost as much as vodka. So forever we shall be happy in eternity with potatoes. Okay, that was Stalin's song. It is like number one hit of Russian Billboard chart in summer of 1976. And the Russian billboard chart is literally a billboard with songs on it, so... For this, I will leave now. And this is end of video, so subscribe, do comment, and I will be seeing you next time. Farewell. Bloop.